You know, it's remarkable to me that if you say no, I don't think that kids who couldn't walk in and get a tattoo or buy a pack of cigarettes shouldn't be able to mutilate their own genitals or have doctors do it under the knife. And yet we see European countries. I mean, you get called a mm -hmm. all sorts of names. You're transphobic. Yeah. You're a bigot. You're this and that. Several European countries have moved directly in that in, in that uh, direction to say, no, we, we're not doing this anymore. We're not giving powerful uh, life-altering drugs. We're not doing life-altering mutilations of people's bodies, including their genitals. It's not going to happen anymore. And yet here in America, if you say that, somehow you're, you know, you're just out of touch. You just don't understand. You're a knuckle-dragging conservative, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's what's so strange about this, because as, as you said, gender ideology, it's the most radical of all the woke ideologies. And then its attack on children's minds and bodies is the most radical aspect of that. And yet countries that we would think of as secular and left wing. So we're talking about the UK, Finland, Norway, Sweden, uh, not exactly right wing countries. Uh, they were all ahead of us on this pediatric gender surgery and gender medicine. They've all done systematic reviews of the evidence and decided, okay, look, the, there's just no good evidence that this actually helps kids and the cost is obvious. So they put the brakes on, but as you said, I mean, we've got 79 pediatric gender clinics in this country right now, and probably about all 600 Planned Parenthood clinics that are passing out cross-sex hormones to teenagers. This is just completely insane. And at the moment, really until this year, until 2023, uh, th it was just victory after victory. This is the year I, I often say when we finally start retaking territory in the fight against this ideology though.